Hi, it's Louisa again. We want to look at how to create a new LinkedIn account today. LinkedIn has 120 million professionals right now networking, exchanging information with each other. So, if you are a professional like a doctor, a dentist, a chiropractor, paramedic, a surgeon, or a coach, trainer, speaker, even if you are just a newly graduated student, you want to get yourself a new LinkedIn account because that is where people exchange information, they showcase their expertise and experience, and that's where you connect with companies too. So let me show you step by step how to get yourself a new LinkedIn account. You want to go to www.linkedin.com. Let's go to the web. This is what you see. If you already have an account, you can just type in your email address and password to log in. Or you can type in your email and password and log in. If you do not have an account, it's very simple. Just choose your professional, professionally known name. Say if you have an alias that you use at work, choose that name, your last name, your email address that you want to use and just say join now. You will be asked to verify you are really who you say you are. Once you have done that, we will go in and I'll show you how to sign on. Okay, so once you sign on, you will be brought to this screen. Now there are many things up here. Do not worry. All you need to do is come to profile and say edit profile. This is the first thing you want to do. You are already in. Now the first thing you want to do is to add yourself a photo because you make your first impression with a photo. A professionally taken one will be preferable. Very easy. Go to your hard disk, choose one. And then you really do want to add in your current position where you're working at right now. So let's take a look. So you key in your company name. So for example, if I have been with KPMG, I will type in KPMG and a list of suggestions will come up. So you choose the one that is most appropriate. Your title, what were you doing there? Your role, where was it? Was it in London or New York? And a brief description of the projects or the kind of work you have done. Of course, then you will save and you do the same for past position. Now, if you are a newly grad, you can come here, never mind about past, come here and add your um, education. Where did you study? Which university? What degree? What diploma? What was the major field? And the dates. Now, you can talk about activities you have done and any additional notes, curricular um, activities. Okay, let's not worry about recommendation at this stage because look, this is what you need to do. You really want to fill up your profile until it is 100%. Why we want to do that is because we want to optimize your listing. If people click on your account and see that everything is empty, they are not going to be interested in connecting with you. So you want to add your position, your summary, okay, and any specialty areas, your skills, your education, very important add a picture and only when you have done everything else then ask for recommendation so this is your guideline if you want to use linkedin to connect with corporations and other professionals you want to fill it up to 100 percent so let's do it step by step first thing your photo your current position your past position and your education now everyone can fill that in if you have a website add that in if you don't it's okay twitter account this is given to you do not worry about it so let's take a look at summary a summary will be um, just a few sentences about the major projects, the skills and experience you have accomplished. Um, what were the big projects you have done? And specialty areas will be like, um, are you a strategist? Are you a turnaround consultant? What was it that you do? Okay, don't worry about application at this stage. You want to add in experience. And that was um, your current position and your past position. You would have done that by now. And if you scroll down, it is pretty straightforward. Add in your website, other groups, your phone number. Now, this is, of course, optional. I will um, caution against giving too much information. You do not have to give your birthday or phone number and address unless you want to. So that's all pretty much what you have to do to sign up for an account. Remember to save and that's it for today. We want to have a LinkedIn presence. This is Louisa from Synergy Marketing Pro.